Election season may have wrapped up already, but for Ward 4 in Bemidji, it is just getting started. Our Josh Peterson has what you need to know about Bemidji's upcoming special election. Just when you thought the election was over, for some Bemidji residents, election season has just begun. Due to the recently vacated council seat by the recently sworn in Beltrami County Commissioner Reed Olson, the process to fill that empty council seat began today. As of 8 o'clock this morning, residents could file their candidacy for the Bemidji City Council Ward 4 seat. Our filing dates have started. It started today, January 9th, and will run through uh, January 23rd um, during the hours that City Hall is open. For those who are interested in filing to run in the special election, there is some criteria. On the affidavit that they, when they file, that okay. they're a resident, and they should be a resident uh, at minimum of uh, 30 days before the election, which is on the 14th. Even with over 1,600 registered voters in Ward 4, turnout for a special election is expected to be generally low. The last time the city of Bemidji had a special election was in Ward 4 back in 2001. We want to get this moved. We, I think that the residents in Ward 4 deserve to have a council person in place as quickly as uh, the rules that I have to follow will allow me. For former Ward 4 Council Member Reed Olson, looking back on his time on the Bemidji City Council was a great experience. By being on the on the council, it was a very good way to always be up to up to speed on on different issues that are affecting the city or going through city government. As of Monday afternoon, two Ward 4 residents have filed an affidavit of candidacy. Anyone interested in running in the special election has until Monday, January 23rd to file. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The Bemidji Ward 4 special election will be held on Tuesday, February 14th at Bemidji City Hall. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.